The Park Pioneers Community Organization of Canada was established in 2011, and in 2016 we achieved the charity status. So any donation going to this organization will be taxable. I mean, tax exempt, or you get the benefit out of that with the proper receipt that we issue. Park Pioneers offers services to the seniors, women, and youth among South Asian community. In the year 2013, we established a senior pioneer club at Banamthar Community Center with the help and assistance from Ward 3 counselor, Chris Fonseca. We will always be thankful to her for her support in this matter. Ladies and gentlemen, our seniors pioneer club meets every Tuesday at Banamthar Community Center, Mississauga, from 12.30 to 3.30 p.m. We start with a 10-minute yoga performed while sitting on the chair. Then we offer an information session on seniors' health-related issues, financial issues, legal matters, and so on. These information sessions are offered by doctors and professionals in the relevant fields. After information session, we have a break for serving refreshments. We serve lunch on the last Tuesday of the month and also celebrate birthday of all the seniors who were born on that month by cutting a cake. We also offer basic computer, tablet, and cell phone learning courses so that seniors can keep up to date with their skills in the changing technology world. For this, we have developed a training manual that they can use and learn it easily. We have created a WhatsApp group for keeping communication with our members in addition to email and telephonic messaging. In the club, seniors get an opportunity to express and show their hidden talents, and by now, we have discovered a few good, talented singers, poets, and musical instrument players. Other than the club activities, we organize field trips, picnics, educational workshops, and seminars like this, and mega programs like upcoming annual Fangama fun Night, where music and dinner is arranged for the seniors, as well as their extended families. Our annual Fangama Night is going to be held in the month of March 2020. So just keep in touch. We will an announce the date for that. Ladies and gentlemen, Park Pioneers Community Organization's main objective is to eliminate loneliness and isolation among South Asian seniors because household members are gone to their jobs and grandchildren to schools. So most part of the day, seniors are by themselves alone at home. Even when everybody comes back home, they briefly greet the seniors and get busy in keeping in touch with their friends through social media and texting. Keeping in mind this type of scenario, Park Pioneers Community Organization Senior Club welcomes all seniors 50 plus to join our club to alleviate effects of loneliness and offer quality time, which is interesting especially when club members participate in the club's entertainment time, which is mostly after refreshments. Based on our last six years' experience, once a senior joins our club, they are waiting for the next Tuesday to come and attend again. Now we have found that they keep in touch with their new friends rest of the week. They have made small groups of like-minded like people and get together in restaurants and sometimes in their own homes. Ladies and gentlemen, if it was possible for them because it was possible only possible for them because they joined the Senior Pioneer Club to develop friendship that they never had before. It is very important to come out of loneliness and isolation because it leads to depression and depression puts a lot of stress on the body. And further stress leads to poor mental and physical health. Eventually, poor mental health may lead to conditions like Alzheimer's that we were discussing today. And once you get these mental illnesses, you cut, your, you cut short your natural lifespan. I just mentioned the activities of Park Finance Community Organization of Canada in detail. Our next goal is to secure a place for seniors' daycare center where families will pick up and drop 
where families will pick up and drop seniors to spend quality time with other seniors and not stay home alone when rest of the family is gone for the day. In this daycare, they will have the opportunity to interact with people of their culture without language barrier. Here, they will be able to bring their own lunch and snack for the day. Tea and coffee and light refreshment will be served by their senior daycare. Our still next goal is to establish a retirement home for South Asian seniors, where they will be able to stay overnight for a short or long term visit. My thanks to the electronic media and the paper media. I want to thank Ali Shah for, from Z9. And I want to thank Arfa, Arfa Mazafar from E. Awaz Television. And if there is any other media person, I, I would like to welcome him too. Here, I would like to thank New Horizon for Seniors program for their support in today's event. Thank you all for listening and have a wonderful time. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Dr. Masoom Shah. I hope everybody can uh, hear us at the back. Everything like loud and clear, especially the scenes up. Because uh, last time we had, like in our club, we had a workshop, an art painting workshop. And the, the scene that was uh, supposed to be painted, uh, the scene that was sitting way at the back, so he couldn't um, get the whole instructions correctly. So everybody painted a beautiful, uh, like, you know, um, scenery. And his was an excellent one, but it had like squares in it. So we were like, uh, kind of, and it, it was uh, like, you know, a beautiful one. So he said he, he uh, said that I was sitting at the back so I couldn't hear the uh, That's why he especially asked. Thank you very much, Tehseen Saab. Tehseen Saab is an excellent guitar player. And his wife, um, Tasneem Ali Khan, she sings excellent. Like She's got a beautiful voice. And she uh, sings while, while he plays the, uh, the guitar. So we often uh, listen to them too. Um, they are the performers of our group. Thank you uh, once again. So I would like to just say give you an, uh, an, uh, a detail of today's program. Because of our friends from uh, Senior Tamil Society, we are um, presenting this program in English. But I, I think because most of us can understand Urdu too. So it could be a you know, switch between the two languages. And I hope that whatever information you will be getting today, it will be of uh, great benefit to all of you. So um, the, uh, the program will start off with uh, the presentation by Dr. Rashta Schwab. She will be talking about dementia. Her main topic of her, for today will be dementia. And uh, after um, Dr. Rashta Schwab, uh, Dr. Mumtaz Hassan, he will be talking about the main topic that is Alzheimer's. And he, uh, just to give his introduction, Dr. Mumtaz Hassan is the ex-vice chancellor of King Edward Medical University, Lahore, Pakistan. Um, he, uh, he has, in fact, we have the honor of having such great uh, learned person uh, from our um, country um, treating the heads of states of various different countries. So I would like to welcome Dr. Mumtaz Hassan and Dr. Rashta Shweb also. She's been... Now we see what are the symptoms of dementia. What are the symptoms of dementia? 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 The most common is memory loss. जो कि आप लोगों ने सुना होगा ये एक्सपीरियंस भी किया होगा कि विद एज कुछ लोगों के अंदर ये अलामतें जाहिर होना शुरू हो जाती हैं तो मेमोरी लॉस व्हिच इज यूजुअली नोटिस बाय स्पाउस और समवन एल्स इसके अलावा डिफिकल्टी कम्युनिकेटिंग और फाइंडिंग वर्ड्स कि आपको बात करने के लिए मुनासिब अल्फाज नहीं मिल पा रहे होते ये अपना मतलब वाजे तौर पे समझा नहीं सकते यू कैन नॉट कम्युनिकेट प्रॉपर्ली डिफिकल्टी विद विजुअल एंड स्पेशल एबिलिटीज इट इज गेटिंग लॉस्ट वाइल ड्राइविंग ये भी बहुत कॉमन एक चीज़ है कि आप ड्राइव कर रहे हैं और आप जिन रास्तों पे नॉर्मली जाते रहते हैं रेगुलरली आपको रास्ता भूल जाता है ओके एंड यू जस्ट फॉरगेट वेयर यू हैव टू गो दिस इज़ अ वेरी कॉमन 
common sign of dementia. And then there's difficulty reasoning or problem solving. You cannot like, reason anyone, you cannot solve a simple problem. Then there's difficulty handling complex, complex tasks. Like, agar aapko koi task diya jai, if, you, if you have to do a task, you're, you're having difficulty doing that. Then it's difficulty with planning and organizing. You have to go somewhere, you have to plan to get ready and get dressed and then go out, but you, you're not able to do that. Then it's difficulty with coordination and motor functions. There's difficulty with more like you uh, sometimes having trouble dressing yourself up or taking a bath or eating properly. So you can have difficulty with that too. And then there is confusion and disorientation. You're confused, you're disoriented, you don't know which place you are in, what is the time of the uh, day it is, which year you are living in, what is the date. And then there are psychological changes, which are also important and uh, the, the, the family members will notice these changes or your friends or your spouse will notice that. First is the personality changes. Normally a person who's very friendly, very uh, jolly, very, he will turn a little bit aggressive or he's, uh, he has mood swings, so you, would, you could tell that his personality is changing. Then there's depression which is very common in seniors, depression, anxiety, and then inappropriate behavior. A person who was not like this is behaving differently uh, during dementia. And then this paranoia. You get scared of things, but you were not scared of them before. Agitation and hallucinations. These are uh, other signs of like you will, uh, sometimes people will just imagine things that somebody is like stalking them and somebody is like, they can have different kind of hallucinations. So everybody is understanding what I'm telling, or should I repeat it in Urdu as well? So everything is good. Okay, now the causes of dementia. What what could be the causes of dementia? Dementia bimari nahi hai. It's a it's a syndrome. Just me, ye sab alamatein zahir hongi. Lekin dementia ke kyun hota hai? To dementia ke jo causes hai, wo bahut zada vast list hai is causes ki. So first kind of dementia is the progressive dementia, which is called the irreversible dementia. Irreversible dementia, why? Because the changes which occur in the brain, they are irreversible. Once they happen, they happen. There's no going back. So that's called the progressive dementia. And the main, main, reason, main, main cause of dementia is Alzheimer's disease. This is the most common cause of dementia. Alzheimer's disease, what happens in your brain? That your brain in the brain, there are some changes in the brain which lead to the, these kind of symptoms which I have told you about. That is the most common. 60 to 70 percent of dementia ke patients hote hain, unka dementia Alzheimer's ki vara se hota hai. Isko main detail mein se nahi jaunge ki next part of the seminar uh, he will be discussing the Alzheimer's disease in detail. Second one is vascular dementia. Vascular dementia is when there is damage to the blood vessels. For example, aapne suna hoga kisi ko fallage hua, stroke hua. Unki blood vessels damage hoi ya rupture ho gayi. Uske baad ye hota hai ki brain ka kuch part jo hota hai, wo dead ho jata hai. Some parts of the brain will die, and the, the, the neurons will die. So this can lead to dementia as well. Then there's one condition called Lewy body dementia. This is also uh, 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 changes in the brain, like balloon-like clumps form in the brain. And this can also lead to dementia, which can uh, uh, have, uh, people with these, this kind of disease will have uh, the symptoms of dementia. Then there's frontotemporal dementia, and this is also the breakdown of nerve cells in the frontal and temporal regions of the brain. And then there's mixed dementia. Mixed dementia is you can have like many, like two or three different kinds of diseases which can lead to dementia. So these kind of changes, they happen as you develop these kind of diseases, the, the nerve cells will die, and then you will uh, have these symptoms of dementia. So this is called the irreversible dementia. This is not better with age, it is more than with age. This is why these changes in your brain are not going to be fine. So we call this irreversible. This is not a disease, it is not a disease, it is only to manage this disease. Okay? Now let's come to the other side of the disorders, which are related to the symptoms of dementia. But they are the symptoms of the dementia. The symptoms of the dementia are the changes in the brain. जैसे कि हंटिंग्स डिजीज होती है, इसके अलावा पार्किंसन्स डिजीज होती है, जिसकी वजह से भी आपके अंदर डिमेंशिया के जो जो हैं साइंस हैं, वो मरीजों के अंदर देखे गए हैं। इसके अलावा आपने सुना होगा बॉक्सर्स, when when the boxers they get hit on the on the head, 
Sometimes with age, you can see some symptoms of dementia. Because unko jo hai, jab wo hit hote hai, uski vara se brain mein injury hoti hai. Jiski vara se signs jo hote hai, later age mein jaake, they can develop dementia. Ye mein aapko general sa ek bataya, ke wo bimariyan jin mein ke dementia hota hai, or irreversible hota hai. Jis mein ke agar changes shuru ho jayen, to wo thik nahi hoti, you cannot go back to your normal activity of the brain. Now the second one is the dementia-like condition that can be reversed. कुछ बीमारियां ऐसी होती हैं जो कि आप ट्रीट कर लो तो आपका डिमेंशिया बेहतर हो जाता है। If you treat these conditions, the dementia would get better. The first is the infectious and immune disorders. Sometimes you have some kind of infection in your body, like a viral infection or a bacterial infection, that can lead to symptoms like dementia. So if you control that infection, the symptoms will get better. And sometimes there are immune disorders like multiple sclerosis. एक बीमारी होती है multiple sclerosis. उसके अंदर भी ये होता है कि वो ऑटो इम्यून डिजीज होती है जिसकी वजह से आपकी ब्रेन के अंदर चेंजेस पैदा हो जाती हैं। सेकेंड इस मेटाबॉलिक प्रॉब्लम्स एंड एंडोक्राइन एब्नॉर्मलिटीज जिसकी वजह से भी लोगों में डिमेंशिया के सिम्टम्स नजर आते हैं। वो क्या हैं? थायराइड प्रॉब्लम्स। व्हेन यू हैव ट्रबल विद योर and then vitamin B12 deficiency की वजह से भी आपके अंदर dementia के अलामत पैदा हो सकती हैं। इसके अलावा nutritional deficiency। अगर आप enough liquids नहीं ले रहे, dehydrated हैं, या फिर आपके अंदर vitamin B1 जैसे thiamine कहते हैं, उसकी deficiency है। Vitamin B6 and B12 is deficient। Copper and vitamin E is deficient। You can have the dementia-like symptoms। These are all deficiencies of certain kind of vitamins in your bodies. Then there must be some medication which can cause dementia-like symptoms. कुछ दवाइयाँ ऐसी आप लोग लेते हैं जो डॉक्टर ने प्रिस्क्राइब की हैं जिसके सिम्टम्स में या उसके साइड इफेक्ट्स में आप देखें लिखा होता है कि इससे dementia-like सिम्टम्स हो सकते हैं। इसके अलावा subdural hematomas. Seniors में बड़ा common है fall. When you fall, you can develop a subdural hematoma. जिसकी वजह से आपके ब्रेन के अंदर खून का clot या खून जम जाता है, जिसकी वजह से ये सिम्टम्स आ सकते हैं। इसके अलावा poisoning. Sometimes metal poisoning, जैसे lead की वजह से, ये pesticide की वजह से भी symptoms आ सकते हैं। इसके, इसके अलावा brain tumors, rarely brain tumors भी cause करते हैं dementia के symptoms। तो हमेशा rule out करना चाहिए। इसलिए doctors जब आपको dementia के symptoms के साथ जाते हैं, तो वो rule out करते हैं CT scan के through, MRI के through के कि वो tumor तो नहीं है, या कोई और local injury तो नहीं है। इसके अलावा anoxia, anoxia का मतलब है कि when आपके brain cells को enough oxygen नहीं मिली, for example sleep apnea, जो लोग सोते हैं वो खराटे लेते हैं, तो उनका सांस थोड़ी देर के लिए रुक जाता है, they and then the brain cells they die due to the lack of oxygen, so this can happen in in that case too. So I I hope अभी तक सब clear है, everybody can understand what I'm, or you want me to repeat anything? Okay now, okay now risk factors. What risk factors you think can affect dementia? Risk factor क्या हो सकते हैं? Can anybody tell me risk factors क्या हैं dementia के? Who you do you think would get dementia? Loneliness. Okay. Any other? Age. Age. अच्छा. There there are two kind of risk factors. कुछ risk factors ऐसे हैं जो कि आप change नहीं कर सकते हैं और कुछ ऐसे हैं जो आप change कर सकते हैं ठीक है पहले हम वो बात कर लेते हैं the risk factors that cannot be changed and the most important is age. As you age, the risk of dementia increases. After 65 years of age, इसका risk increase हो जाता है but doesn't mean कि सब लोगों को dementia हो जाएगा लेकिन एक खास age के बाद आपकी risk factor जो है वो increase हो जाता है. Second is family history. Family history में भी genetic भी इसकी देखी गई है कि जिन की family में ये बीमारी थी, उस वो आगे भी continue होती है, but कोई hard and fast rule नहीं है। There is not, it's not necessary that you will get get it if you don't have it in your family. Sometimes there is no family history, but you still can can get dementia. And then there is Down syndrome. People with Down syndrome will develop will develop Alzheimer's disease early onset, before the age of 65. So these are the risk factors which you cannot change. Then there are certain risk factors which you can change. And what are those? Any guesses? Which risk factors can you change? A healthy lifestyle. That's good. Any other? Get yeah, bilkul. That's right. Good one. So first is diet and exercise. So you can change. You can change your risk of dementia by changing your diet. 
And the, uh, I think we have done lots of sessions on uh, healthy eating. So the best diet to follow is the Mediterranean diet, which has lots of fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds. So this can help you uh, decrease the risk of dementia. And then there is uh, exercise. So if you do regular exercise of 30 minutes every day, maybe like brisk walking or even like gardening or walking, that's good enough. And then there is heavy alcohol use. Because alcohol have, there, there are studies which show that if you use alcohol, there is a relationship between the moderate amount of alcohol and dementia. So heavy alcohol drinkers, they can uh, uh, develop dementia earlier than the other population. So to avoid alcohol. Then there is cardiovascular risk factors. So people who have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and they're obese. So they will develop, they, they have the risk factors for dementia. So if you have uh, high, high blood pressure or high cholesterol, you better need to take care of that. And then there is depression. Depression can also lead to dementia. And then there is sleep, uh, smoking. Smoking also increases the risk of dementia. And then there's sleep apnea, I told you, when you sleep and you just stop breathing for a few uh, like, uh, seconds, it can affect your brain. Then there is vitamin and nutritional deficiencies, like vitamin D, vitamin B6, B12, and folate, they may increase the risk of dementia. So it's better to ask your doctor if you need any vitamin supplementation or get your uh, vitamin levels checked, especially vitamin D. I've noticed many people in our community, they are vitamin D deficient and don't, they don't even know about it. So it's better to pay once and then just get your vitamin D levels because it's, it's not covered by OHIP, so normally doctors, they don't do your vitamin D levels. Okay, so these are the uh, risk factors which uh, we should know uh, so that we can change our lifestyle to, to decrease the risk of dementia. Now, uh, what are the complications of uh, dementia? If a person is diagnosed with dementia, what do you think will happen? So first is poor nutrition, because as you get these symptoms, you will f uh, you'll just forget to eat or you won't be eating properly or uh, uh, they won't remember to eat. So ultimately, what will happen is that their intake will decrease. And then uh, later part, parts of dementia, they're unable to swallow or they're unable to chew the food. They can't chew the food and uh, swallow the food. So this will lead to uh, affecting the nutrient intake. And then sometimes uh, people, uh, they can't swallow, so there is a risk of choking. They will choke when they're eating. Then so this can lead to aspiration pneumonia. The food goes into your lungs. So that's a very dangerous, very serious condition, and this can lead to like even death if you don't treat it properly. So that's a very common complication of dementia. Then there is uh, inability to perform self-care tasks. As the dementia progresses, so you will uh, not be able to, the, the patient won't be able to uh, do the normal like uh, uh, task, which is like bathing or dressing himself, brushing hair or teeth using the toilet properly, taking the medication. So basically, he cannot look after themselves properly when they have dementia. And the later uh, stage of dementia can lead to coma and death, often from infection. I told you that if you uh, uh, aspirate the food into your lungs, you can have uh, aspiration pneumonia. So these are, the, uh, uh, these are the complications of dementia. Okay. Uh, now we'll say prevention of dementia. I told you the risk factors. So now anybody, I think it's common sense to just uh, think about prevention of de dementia. How can you prevent dementia? So that's basically all those risk factors which you can eliminate from your life. So number, the main is keep your mind active. How do you exercise your mind? You can exercise your body by walking or gardening or running, but how do you exercise your mind? Any, anybody? Crossword, yeah. So whatever will stimulate your brain, like reading, solving puzzles, playing word games, and memory training games. Any game which will help you like think and then think about that thing, maybe crossword puzzle or even reading. So these are kind of exercises which can help your brain. And number two is be physically and socially active. So why socially, socially active is important also, or only physically active is important, both of, the, both of these. Because if you're physically active, but you're not socializing, you're not going out, you're not meeting uh, friends your age, so this is going to affect your health. So it's better to be physically and socially active. At least aim for 150 minutes of exercise a week. 150 a week. So maybe 25 to 30 minutes per day would be fine. Then it's quit smoking. Because I told you risk factor, 
the people who are like smokers, they, uh, they have, have more chances of getting dementia. So quitting smoking would help. Then get enough vitamins. I told you about vitamin D and then vitamin Bs, B1, B6, B12. So if you are deficient in that, you should take that, those vitamins. Then you can manage your cardiovascular risk factors. You should, uh, if you have high blood pressure, high body max, mass index, you're obese, you should control your weight. You should uh, always go to your doctor if your blood pressure is not controlled. And get treatment for cholesterol as well. And then if you're having uh, depression or anxiety, even then you need to go to the doctor. Don't like ignore the symptoms that you're otherwise healthy, but you are depressed and you're anxious all the time. You should get the treatment for that too. And then is maintain a healthy diet. So healthy diet, I told you, is the Mediterranean diet. It's rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, omega-3s. And then uh, you should be eating that kind of uh, food like most, most of the times. And then enough sleep. I told you that uh, uh, good sleep also will affect your overall health and then it will help uh, people uh, to decrease the risk of dementia. So sleep habits should be healthy and you should always maintain a good sleep pattern like go to bed at the same time, try to go to bed at the same time every night and then try to get at least six to seven hours of non-interrupted sleep, if you can. So I hope you have a little better idea about dementia yes. by now. Okay, now uh, I think uh, Tamina pointed out that you should talk about some supplementation or something which can help prevent and treat. So I thought to share some uh, researches which, which uh, tell you which uh, food item or which uh, uh, vitamin will help uh, in the treatment and, and prevention of dementia. So uh, diet, we have, we have talked about that uh, if you eat like healthy diet uh, with uh, vegetables, yes? Can you speak louder? I can't hear you, bro. That's my point. Dementia, dementia, jo hai, dementia is not a symptom. It's, it's kind of different symptoms and signs. Signs, जो जो कि मुख्तलिफ बीमारियों से होते हैं, dementia जो है वो अलामते हैं, इस बीमारी नहीं है, dementia अलामत है या उसके symptoms हैं या signs हैं. Alzheimer is one of the disease which can lead to dementia-like symptoms. और dementia के symptoms को जो lead करती है वो बीमारियां अलग-अलग हैं. Dementia is बहुत बड़ी एक term है, it's like a, it's, it's like an umbrella. आप इस तरह, okay, I'll give you a, uh, another example. For example, you go to the, your doctor and you have uh, shortness of breath. Sometimes you have shortness, everybody has shortness of breath, okay? You go to your doctor and the doctor will uh, test you for different things because shortness of breath can be due to many reasons. It can be due to your, due to your uh, asthma, your lungs. It can be due to a lung condition uh, or to a heart condition. So only by say, looking at shortness of breath, you cannot tell which disease is causing this shortness of breath. So same for dementia. By looking at a patient with dementia, you, you can tell that what is the disease which is causing this dementia. So you have to figure out by different uh, history taking and different tests, you, can figure, you, you, you have to figure out what is actually causing the dementia. And then Dr. Mumtaz Hassan will uh, tell you in detail about the Alzheimer's. That's the main cause of dementia. So I'm talking about the general topic. It's like a general topic, dementia-like symptoms, uh, which diseases can cause those and what are, what, how can you prevent yourself from this, these kind of ailments. I hope it, it is a little bit, bit clear. There is different, Parkinson's is, is a different disease, but its symptoms will look like dementia. Parkinson's is not dementia, but it, it will show you some symptoms and signs which fall under this dementia uh, category. So I hope you're a little bit clear on that now. Okay, brain exercise, I told you about doing crossword puzzles, and there's a game called Sudoku, 
and then you can uh, read for your memory, uh, boosting games or card games, even playing cards is helpful. And then there's some herbal and dietary supplements which I wanted to talk a little bit about because sometimes people, they think that these supplements would help them to prevent the onset of dementia or dementia-like symptoms. So first uh, supplement is Ginkgo biloba. This is the most common uh, herb herbal medicine and treatment of dementia symptoms. And this is kind of an antioxidant. So uh, uh, studies have proved that uh, they will help you in, in brain function. But I would suggest always talk to your doctor before starting any supplementation. If you're taking other uh, prescribed drugs, so it's better to ask your doctor if you can take this supplement, okay? Don't try, like, don't take, uh, start taking it without any consultation. Other supplements which can help dementia is vitamin E, selenium, melatonin, and DHA. So basically these are kind of vitamins. Melatonin is a compound which will help you regulate the sleep, the sleep hormone, it's called the hormone, which will affect your sleep. And then DHA is an omega-3 fatty acid, which is, which is found in fish. So that's why we encourage you to eat fish at least twice or uh, thrice a week, because it will give you the omega-3s. So uh, studies have noticed that these uh, supplements will help you in prevention and even treatment of dementia. If, if uh, you, uh, you're already seeing signs of dementia in a person and you start giving them these supplements, they will help you. They will help them. And then there is uh, alternative medicine as well. Like uh, doctors will prescribe some medications because I told you some cases of dementia can be treat, uh, treated because they are due to some conditions which are treat treatable, right? So they will treat those. But some diseases like Alzheimer's, they, they don't have any solution for that. They will just help you, give you supportive therapy or just give, they will give you some medicines just to slow down the process of brain damage. But they cannot like fix it prop uh, like completely. So other therapies which can help uh, with the treatment is acupuncture and the massage therapy. So they have noticed that if they uh, give these kind of treatments to uh, dementia patients, they were, they were really helpful in them. And then there's other therapies which are like music therapy and then aromatherapy which, you, uh, which will help, help the dementia. But aromatherapy is basically essential oils, their smell will stimulate the brain. And then there is uh, bright light therapy as well. So these kind of therapies, uh, sometimes they work and they can, uh, they can help with the symptoms of patients with dementia. So these treatments are also popular with the medication uh, on the side as well. But it's always better to ask your doctor which treatment will uh, help you more. So I'm not going into the details of uh, dementia treatment because I think when he will discuss Alzheimer's, he will tell you the, in detail the treatment and the so I was just trying to give you a basic idea about dementia that you should have in mind that dementia is a very vast term. It's not like a one disease. It's a, it's, a, it's a combination of different diseases which can lead to these kind of symptoms. So every dementia is not Alzheimer's, but mostly 50 to 60 percent cases would be Alzheimer's, but there are other reasons of dementia and it's always better to go to your doctor and rule the other conditions out as well. So uh, thank you. Thanks a lot. I hope. Thank you very much, Dr. Rashta. An excellent uh, presentation, and I hope we learned a lot about dementia. But because uh, Dr. Mamtaz has to cover the Alzheimer's topic, so that covers almost everything, whether it's dementia, Parkinson's, or any disease related to your mental uh, deterioration. So um, I would like to welcome our MP, Peter Fonseca here uh, at our seminar. Do you want to come now, or let's listen to first? Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll wait. So yeah, just just get educated by Dr. Mamdaz Hassan a little, <laughs> and then we'll uh, move on. So I just wanted to introduce you that you have joined us today. Thanks for that. And uh, now I would request Dr. Mamdaz Hassan to please enlighten us, to please educate us, and to um, give us all that information which is uh, very, very important for the seniors to cope with, their, uh, with, the, with the old age 
uh, especially when the pre prevalence of Alzheimer's and dementia is very common. So uh, Dr. Mumtaz Hassan, as I said, he's the ex-Vice Chancellor of the King Edward Medical University, uh, the physician of different heads of states, and we are honored to have you, sir, here. Thank you very much, Tamina, for very kind words which I don't deserve. It's my pleasure to be here, and I'm thankful to Dr. Shah, the President, Tamina, better half of Tamina, vibrant members of Southeastern community, and members from press, and our great friend Peter. And right at the start, if you want to avoid dementia, follow lifestyles of Peter. Be active, smart, eat well. That's the first message I want to give it to you. Uh, hello, assalamu alaikum. Sat Sri Akal, Jubolya Sonihal, Wa Guru Da Khalsa, De Wa Guru Da Jeet. I'll be speaking, uh, I'm making a concoction of English, Urdu, Punjabi, and Hindi, so everybody can understand. Please feel free to interrupt me. If you don't understand anything, or I speak nonsense, I don't mind. Say you are talking nonsense. It's a pleasure to be here and to speak. And while Dr. Masoom Shah was talking, I remembered two verses of Punjabi. I'll immediately translate for you in English. The first one is, Kalla banda hove paon hove rukhani, doa kalya nu hoda bada dukhani. Whether it's a man who is alone, or whether it's a tree who it is alone, both have got painful life. And the second verse, I again remember while standing here in Punjabi, Sada na baha bul bul bole, sada na mauj bahara, sada na maape husan javani, sada na sobat yara. It is nothing permanent that you remain young. It is nothing permanent that you have got your elders. It is nothing permanent that you are beautiful and smart. It is not permanent that you always have the friends around you and this is the story of dementia and Alzheimer. Now coming to the topic and without boring you further, uh, where is my... That's right. I hope I'm not getting demented myself. This is try anyone. This is, this is what it, no. This is what it is. Never mind, I can speak extempore, but there we got it. Dementia. Dr. Rashta has talked very eloquently and in detail about dementia. There may be some of the repetition, kuch isme ho sakti a repetition. I hope you don't mind that. But what is dementia is deterioration in the cognitive abilities that interferes in successful performance of activities of daily life. This is one sentence which summarizes everything. That your brain functions are deteriorating, your mind is going down, and hence you are not able to perform your day-to-day -day function. Incidents affects 10% of people above the age of 70 and 20 to 40% of people above the age of 80. We live in civilization which is really advanced. And one of the benefits of this civilization is good health services, especially in Canada. And what is the result of that? The longevity is increasing. People are living more. One used to die at the age of 30, 40, and 50 due to infections and other things. Now we live up to 70 and 80. And with advancing age, the number of people living is more, and hence number of people having dementia and oblique Alzheimer is getting more. Causes. 
the most common disease of dementia is Alzheimer's disease. Dr. Rashta has talked of vascular dementia, you get paralysis, fallage, and brain goes down. Alcohol. Well, really, there are various D's associated with alcohol. You take a little alcohol and you are dizzy with delight. You take a little more alcohol and then you become dead drunk. You still keep on taking, oh, I like it, you know, it's too good. And then you knock at death's door. So six Ds remember it regarding alcoholism. And this is uh, what alcohol does. Again, Parkinson's disease, Russia, shaking policy. In fact, there's going to a seminar tomorrow only on Parkinson's disease, which I'll be addressing. Uh, these, the question which was asked a little while ago, I like to answer it there and then. Dementia, Parkinson's disease, and uh, Alzheimer are all degenerative diseases. We are not junk. We are not ever junk. Everything deteriorates, including the brain cells. And in the brain cells, the electrical conductivity also deteriorates. Resulting is that all functions deteriorate. Hence, memory deteriorates. If the muscles and nervous tone deteriorates, we get Parkinson's disease. And if we get other nonsense things and we don't behave, then we get dementia. So I hope that answers the question. This is overlapping of these diseases, but we can differentiate clinically. In Parkinson's disease, there mainly there are tremors, Russia. Again, there is rigidity, you become stiff and then you get attitude of flexion, like this you walk. And that is in French words, marcia petipa. So you can differentiate clinically, and, uh, but you have got excellent physicians here, excellent healthcare, there should be no problem. Next is uh, Parkinson's disease I've talked. Drug medication intoxication was, in this society, one of the curses drugs intake. Uh, the details I'd not like to talk, but that's one of the causes. And vitamin deficiency, especially vitamin B1 and B12, which Dr. Rashta has eloquently explained. But, well, this is highly debatable. There are good points and there are bad points. And I like to summarize, if you like alcohol, if used with caution, and in doses which are not detrimental to health, it is okay. But then there's no limit. When you drink and you drink, when you are in the air, you are in the air. And you take so much marijuana that you feel like jumping and flying in the air. So that is the dangerous point. Keep a check and balance, then we can use it. When unfortunately there are no checks and balances, then you had it. I hope they have not jumped the... Yes. Now the next is endocrine. Body is the most sophisticated machine. And one of them is, one of the parts is ductless glands. The thyroid, adrenal, little tiny hyperparathyroid glands, kidney failure, liver failure, lung failure, all can cause features of dementia but not necessarily they may be permanent. The good thing about this is that these are the treatable entities and you need a very smart clinician or physician to look after them. Chronic infections, HIV. Luckily, thanks to the research, that incidence of HIV is not that much. Uh, I was talking at Sydney 20 years back and people would say, where our society has gone, thou I shall pronounce your husband and wife and you remain loyal to each other. But once that sentence was gone, the result was HIV. But it has come there, syphilis, thanks to, syphilis was a disease in which you we used to say, the offspring suffers for the sins committed by their parents. You used to run into generations, thanks to Fleming who invented uh, Penicillin, it has practically disappeared. Viruses, they are still the culprit. 
Tuberculosis, again, thanks to the modern research, it is very less, but in southeastern community, there may be foci of tuberculosis. Head trauma. We are getting mechanized, civilized, coca cola and McDonaldized, and motorized. And the gift of which is trauma. And when you hit at the brain, you bleed inside, or you have a fall in your bathroom, it gets unnoticed, and higher mental faculties deteriorate. Post and catholic, I see, uh, still it is there because brain gets inflamed, and then you get deterioration in higher mental functions. Tumors, can't do it. Cancers, primary or secondary, cause the same. Psychiatric, depression and schizophrenia. Depression is very common in our society because the hopes are high and everything may not be achieved. The young man may be getting depressed. Oh, I want to marry Miss Mary. But Miss Mary goes with somebody else, you get depressed. In old age, I had 10 children. Four have gone to Scotland. One is in the States. My wife has died. Three don't look after me. They send me only a card on Christmas. You get depressed. And that's why you get deteriorating in mental function. Uh, Huntington's chorea, uh, it's a technical term. It's uh, like involuntary movements, a cousin of Parkinson's disease, you may call it. And the mental function deteriorates. Motor neuron disease, again, belongs to the spectrum of the degenerative diseases. And the results may be the same. Risk factor, age. Well, it said, don't ask a man his income and lady's age. But with advancing age, risk of Alzheimer and dementia increases. It's more in female. You know why? Because male die earlier. Well, oh, how happy the ladies are. They get a good succession certificate and plenty of dollars. But this is the stat what statistics speak. Family history. There are unfortunate families in which you, uh, they run into, uh, the seed is there. And when the environments are there, then you get dementia. And genes, genes are two types. Risk gene which run in the families. And deterministic genes, the environments. A combination of two may culminate in dementia. Now I'm coming to Alzheimer's disease. I'll classify it in four stages. One is the beginning stage. Second is the middle stage. Third is the late stage. And fourth is the end, which everybody was, has to meet and we should accept it with a smile. In the beginning, memory impairment that may disturb the daily life. They go unnoticed and noticed by a patient or spouse. The key karijarya, what the guy is doing, I am telling her, come here, he is going towards below. So below is a slang, you know, he is going to somebody else. Interference with daily activities, making a bad decision once in a while. Then finances, especially they forget to pay their bills, which may be very detrimental, soon followed by uh, uh, the interest rate and then being a uh, bad credit score. Following instructions at the job, they can't perform their job properly. And the boss says, what are you doing? And it may be the start of Alzheimer or dementia. Driving poor judgment. Instead of coming home, they go somewhere else. Housekeeping, losing things from time to time. Everybody gets it. I very often myself find out where my purse is. And then I find it is with my wife. Then you forget your keys. You want to go to your job, the time is short, and you don't find your keys. That may be the first symptom. Changes in the environments, confusion in time and the space, where I am, what is the date, what is the time, is it day or night? Those may be the features of dementia. And lost on the walk. The grandpa has gone for a walk and never came home. And then you have to announce, tell, a police and announce over the radio and the television, we have lost a great part. He may be having dementia and Alzheimer's. Then in the middle stage, unable to work. 
then they need supervision. They may work, but you have to tell them do this, this, this. You have to make SOPs for them and tell them these are the steps. The language, they may not be able to speak what they were very fluent, eloquent, impressive, but then all these qualities may disappear. Naming, comprehension, fluency, forgetting daily use work and writing. Uh, instead of writing half a million dollar check, they write down a million dollar check. And somebody gets benefit. Hyperexia, trouble performing in motor functions, complicated. For example, uh, there was once a while, the uh, situation has declined, Ladies used to knit these in balls, you know, finger movements and the brain movement. And you have mentioned so many times the word grandpa. Like, grandpa is the key word that you've used, which shows that in the older literacy and by teaching people to use the, the, uh, the touch screen phones uh, so that they can and also by teaching them about the social use of social media so these people can get connected and they can have an understanding of how the younger generation or what kind of uh, things that the younger generation is interested in so they can share with them their interests also so that is one of the services that Park Pioneers is trying to do to bring together the younger and the older generation together and then again so he always like he uh, that is translated that the universe has colors because of the presence of a female. So he said uh, so many times that it's the wife or the girlfriend and you know they play a very important role in one's life. So um, you know enjoy your life, enjoy yourself, be try to look for a friend in your wife. At this age, you definitely will find because you, you need a companion at this age the most in, in, at this stage of your life. So please do that too. And then we're also like trying to get the, uh, the people out of the isolation. And uh, as, as he, uh, he uh, praised Peter Fonseca's fitness so many times, so I must uh, mention here, once Peter kind of like shared that secret, He's saying that my wife is very, very health conscious. She cooks very healthy food. She tries to keep everything healthy. That's why, so that's the secret. So wife is the secret, Chris Fonseca. She's the secret behind this young guy. So now I would request uh, Peter Fonseca to please come and say a few words. Uh, MP for Mississauga East Cooksville, the federal uh, member of parliament, Peter Fonseca. Thank you so much, Lena. And you're right, that is the secret. <laughs> Marry well. That is the most important thing. Salam alaikum, brothers and sisters. It's really an honor to be here with, uh, with everybody. And I can see how these uh, seminars that uh, PAC Pioneers puts on, and I want to commend them, are so enriching, so uh, educational, so much awareness that everybody is able to get from these uh, seminars, and then be able to share that through the community. So the hundred or plus people that are here with us today, you will in turn be the disciples, those that will go out and share this great news with everybody else. And this is so important. So I want to thank Pac Pioneers. I want to thank Tamina. And you shouldn't have shared my secret there, but it is a very important secret. Again, Mary Well, have a great partner who wants to make sure that you adhere to a healthy lifestyle. Yes, and keep the partner very, very, very happy. And I want to thank Dr. Shaw and uh, Naveed and the entire team, and of course the young people that make all the technology and everything uh, and everything work here when we come out for these seminars. And listening to Dr. Hassan and Dr. Rishta, you know that their their knowledge as experts in this field and to be able uh, to come out and share in such a, in, in such a way that uh, it's easy to digest the information that you were able to uh, to provide everybody here today. I think I'm being asked to move over to the podium because I'm not. And the media partners, of course, all the media partners that are here and also uh, also sharing this uh, this information. I guess when I was listening to the uh, to the seminar, 
I was thinking, one, about as a politician, what is our government doing? Well, I think, I think in, a, in an earlier seminar I brought up that three years ago, Canada now has more people that are over age 65 than under age 25. Three years ago, that was the first time ever that we had more people over age 65. And we saw from the statistics, that means, just by statistics, more and, and by percentages, more and more people are going to have Alzheimer's and, uh, and dementia, and it'll be part of their lives. I know in my family, it has touched a number of, uh, of members of my family, I'll explain that a little after, and, uh, and as, a, as a government. So a few years ago, we saw this kind of coming, this tsunami, this senior tsunami. And the tsunami, is what we did is we put uh, five billion more dollars dedicated through the provinces, through the ter territories, to mental health, dementia and Alzheimer's being a big part of that, to mental health, and another five, six billion dollars that we put into home care services, home care. Because a as we heard many times, for, be it for the caregivers that need some, some help, right, with being able to take care of their loved ones, or for those that, uh, that have dementia, to be able to have somebody come to, uh, come to their house and help them through some of the just day-to-day -day chores that are, are very difficult or are becoming uh, very difficult. We also have other programs like the New Horizons a program that we have for seniors, and I know PAC Pioneers has, uh, has uh, been a recipient of that, uh, that program. And what that program does is it helps organizations throughout Canada that are able to provide uh, seminars like this, and uh, in, be it through information or through uh, uh, different sessions that they have on exercise, etc., computers, to helping seniors, helping seniors. And that helps a lot, again, with dementia. So I think all these programs are great. I know that Dr. Sun brought up my, you know, I, I look healthy, the, I, I try to be healthy, and that's, that's really, I try to, uh, to be healthy. But I think the main thing I have to continue to tell myself is it's more about moderation. It's moderation. So I do have some alcohol once in a while, so that go up. This is the time of year where maybe we drink a little too much alcohol for those that, uh, that drink. So always have to tell yourself, and food, we eat a lot of food during the holiday season. So always about moderation. I feel that is the way that I try to lead my life. I think I'm going a little too overboard on something. I, you know, consciously try to, uh, try to bring it back. I did have, uh, like I said, some family members. I'll tell you about my, uh, my grandmother. Yeah, she started to forget things. Uh, she started having a hard time. We started having a hard time leaving her alone at home, where she would turn on the stove, or she would, you know, trip or fall or, or, or find herself uh, disoriented. So what that caused is that we had, a, we had to have a wraparound team so family members think of how they can help the situation. So we had to come up with a plan. We had to come up with a plan to helping my grandmother. And she was able, through that plan, unknownst to her in many ways, because she really didn't have to know what we were doing, but we were doing it to help her, and we were able to manage through the years until she, until she passed away. So I don't know if that was brought up, but a plan was very important. I saw many of the things that need to, uh, to be addressed. And, it's, and, and in our situation, it was good to do it, to do it early, as soon as we saw those, those early signs. Uh, I think one of the things, I, I do uh, exercise, I like, to, uh, I like to exercise, and I think that does give my, uh, my mind, not only my body, but it gives my mind a, uh, a, a bit of uh, a boost, if, if I gotta say. And when I say exercise, even going for a walk is, uh, is great. I see many seniors out, uh, out walking, and they always tell me they feel much better after they've gone for a walk. I'm not a medical doctor, so I don't know if that's because the blood is pumping through your body or, or, or what it is, but it does make you uh, feel good. So if, if you're not on an exercise uh, program, I, I recommend that, and I, as I say, exercise is as easy as walking. And there are many, you know, these watches that kind of check your steps and everything else, but I would just go for a walk in the park or whatever. That's all you, uh, you really need to do. But uh, those are, you know, as far as uh, our medical uh, teams that we have here in Canada and all the innovations in, uh, in, uh, in medicine and pharmaceuticals and all the information you have, uh, be it through your, uh, you know, your practitioners or through the internet, etc., there is so much 
uh, information out there. But I think still the best is when we do it uh, as, uh, I'll say, as humans, where we connect with each other, you know, face to face. That's why this here at Pack Pioneers and putting on this seminar is so important, that we're able to discuss our own personal stories with each other so that we can say, hey, this is what's happening in my life or what's happening in someone in my family's lives or my friend, and, and what do you think? How can, we, uh, how can we help? What can we do? So I think those are, uh, those are great. And, uh, and the social aspect, we just heard how people get depressed, fall into dementia, etc. It probably happens a lot faster if you don't have a strong social group, somebody to lean on, somebody to be with, a life partner, but it could be just here, like at Pack Pioneers, being part of a club. So, I, and, and I have to say, uh, Tamina brings up my wife, but I say this about all women. Women I have this, have, have, uh, this special uh, nature to them that they are much more social than men. And they do uh, look for help when they need it. Unlike men that keep putting it off to the side, etc., until et it gets too late. And uh, so, to all the men out there, listen to your wives. Listen to your daughters. Listen to your grandmothers. Yes, because you know I think they have the uh, they have the best advice. I know we're coming into the uh, into the holiday season and we're going to be uh, starting a new year uh, quite soon. Uh, I, it's an honor again to represent to this community of Mississauga East Cooksville. My office is always uh, open to everybody. And if you have any suggestions ever in terms of what more we should do when it comes to seniors or some things that we could do here in, in the community. I would love to hear them. So this is uh, the best way that I could do my job and it helps my mental health because uh, the hardest thing for me is when somebody has not said something to me and kept it inside and they you know wish the government did this or wish the government did that or we don't have enough of uh, whatever the resource may be and then it only comes to us very late so it's good to start now so that we can continue to have these conversations and we could look to, uh, to provide those, uh, those resources here in the community. I just want to wish uh, everybody, like I said, a, a wonderful uh, holiday season. All the very best in the new year. Uh, health, of course, and, uh, and happiness to, uh, to you and your families. Again, it's, uh, it's an honor to be here. I'm going to present uh, Tamina with a scroll. I think you have a collection of these. Or, or Dr. Shaw. Yeah, Dr. Shaw with the scroll. Yeah. Yes. Service charge. Service charge, please. Yeah. Service charge, please. Everybody that Tamina wants to bring up here. Yeah, sure. Service charge, please. Reassa, please. Service charge. Service charge. Dr. Mumtaz Hassan, once again, to please come. Sir, put the lipid down. Put the fat over your palm. If it melts, it's okay because it can melt in the body. If the fat does not melt over your palm, then please try to avoid it. So coconut oil is in between the two, but it's a blessing from the nature. As many of the symptoms are same in all three diseases that you mentioned. Oh. Okay. As many of the symptoms are same in all the diseases you mentioned, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and others, including schizophrenia, how do you how do you decide which one, as a doctor, somebody has it? Is it schizophrenia? Is it Alzheimer's? Is it Parkinson? Or is it any other? Because the symptoms are same in all three. I would like to clarify: symptoms are not same, but symptoms are similar. Okay. And symptoms overlap. Let, let us take of schizophrenia. Schizophrenia belongs to class of disease in which the patient is not in touch with reality. There are two types of health psychiatric diseases, neurotics and psychotics. Basically, we are all neurotics. Neurotic says two and two are four, but always worried about it. But they are in touch with reality that the way of my husband is uh, 5,000. A psychotic is not in touch with reality. 
Psychotic will say two and two are five, or two and two are three. So you can easily differentiate. Plus, psychotic gets a lot of paranoid ideas, hallucination, delusions, and illusions. These are English terms, but also medical terms. So I will tell you what is hallucination. Hallucination is uh, for an impulse, you misrepresent that. Aapko impulse ho gai nahi, aapko awazhe aa rahi hai. Aapko cheeze nazar aa rahi hai. Aapko pata nahi, alka ho rahi hai, what they call it, you know. So, these people get hallucination. Mujhe awaz aai hai, bitte ko chuli phe, to ye aapne akhbaro mein pada ho ga. So, these are the paranoid people. Phir paranoid shakki bade hoote hai. Oh, well, uh, at every house, there is shak going on. Then, you know, we come late. Tamina says, where have you been? But everything is all right. But if Tamina persists, you know, then is paranoid. Right? I hope you don't get it. But I did it for explanation of our, you know, uh, you know our community. So, with symptoms, one. Then comes signs. In every disease, there is a symptom. Symptom is that which patient says. Sign which doctor looks after. Now, in simple schizophrenia, there will not be any sign. But in Parkinsonism, as I told you, rigidity, attitude of flexion, bradykinesia, walk, sara usse pata lag jata hai. Motor neuron disease ki apne sign hai, which will be complicated. So, signs and symptoms help you to differentiate the ecology bimari hai, how there may be a lot of overlap. Thank you. Thank you very much. People are hungry, I think. Tamina will invite you for good food. Yeah, that's right. Thank you very much, Dr. Mamtaz. And I know a lot of people may have like more questions, but uh, uh, yeah, you know, we'll, uh, we'll be trying to get hold of him once again, and we can um, work on this again. Uh, and related to this uh, topic today, uh, I have uh, shared with the members of our club, and I would like to share here again with everybody, especially because all of our um, members here are seniors, so you must watch um, a movie by the name of Head Full of Honey. Head Full of Honey. If you have watched that movie, try to watch it with, with your family. Uh, it's a slow movie, it's like a, um, an English Hollywood movie, but it explains and it shows in detail how a person, head full of honey, how a person, uh, you know, s uh, starts showing the symptoms of um, Alzheimer's and dementia and how that grandpa is helped by his granddaughter who understands what her grandfather is going through and how the family, they help him go through all those years of his um, illness. So please, uh, if you can get some time, do watch the movie Head Full of Honey. It explains brilliantly and beautifully the, uh, the, uh, the progressive disease of Alzheimer's and dementia uh, for the family. Yes, Head, uh, head Full of Honey. It's uh, Nick Nolte's uh, excellent uh, performance in there. Now I would also uh, welcome one of our guests, she just uh, joined us now, Samira Ali, the counselor from the city of Milton. Thank you very much for joining here. And I would also like to acknowledge once again uh, the two of our um, brotherly, sisterly, and friendly organizations, uh, Sahara Senior Services and Senior Tamil Society of Peel. And I would request both the, uh, the representatives from the organizations to please come and uh, you know, say a few words, what, what would you like to share with us? Um, yeah, from Senior Tamil Society also. Uh, Mr. Narendra Toga from uh, Sahara Senior Services. Thank you very much, uh, Um uh, I really appreciate uh, the way Park Pioneers works and, and delivers uh, workshops, and especially for the seniors. Uh, we need that. Uh, senior population is growing. So we need to look after ourselves. Um, I always say this, I have three children, grown up children. Children are gonna look after, but please, please do come to uh, the clubs, 
share your wisdom, share your knowledge, and try to come out and have fun. These are the fun years, so enjoy. And I really appreciate uh, Naveed and uh, Dr. Shah doing excellent job in, in organizing. Uh, we do the workshop at Meadowville Community Center, the Sahara Senior Services. We have every Thursday, one to four, about 100, 100 members come to each meeting. And they are all enjoying. And we always uh, get together, Naveed and Tamina. I'm trying to do things what seniors want. And this is an excellent, excellent platform to come and share the knowledge and have fun. Thank you very much. And Mr. Murli from Senior Tamil Society of Peel. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Shah, Ms. Naveed, and Ms. Naveed for inviting us. Uh, it's a wonderful presentation, a lot of information and uh, education for us so we can share with other people as well. Uh, we, Senior Tamil Society Peel, we have regular programs on Mondays and Thursdays at Misagavali Boulevard Community Center. We about 100 seniors meet regularly twice a week and uh, we have end with lunch. So it's given opportunity for many of the seniors who are lonely at home, come and mingle with others and go happily. They said they are looking for Mondays and Thursdays. So anyway, thank you for inviting and wonderful service. Oh, Continue. Thank, you so thank, you. thank you so much. And uh, yeah, just uh, maybe a couple of minutes more uh, till we invite you to go and join the, uh, the food tables. So uh, I would request uh, Councillor Samira Ali to please uh, come and thank you very much with this weather and all the way from Milton, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Tamina. Uh, thank you and salam. Uh, salam, namaste, satyakal. I see people from all communities here. This is beautiful. And uh, I'm always, always very happy to come and uh, um, attend all of the great events that Amina uh, does uh, with the uh, Park Pioneers Communities uh, Club. And I am so happy to see how this club is growing and all the new beautiful faces I see every time I come in. Great job, guys. Huge round of applause for Tamina. She does such a beautiful job with such passion. I am so inspired by her, and there is no need to thank me for coming from Milton. I would have it no other way. There was no chance I was going to miss this and have miss the opportunity of seeing all of you wonderful folks. I always feel at home here because I call myself a, a, uh, an old spirit as well, and I, I, I understand what your issues are. I understand what concerns you and the issues of isolation. Um, my father passed away three years ago and my mother has the same, same sentiments as you have. She's looking for someone to talk to. She's looking for someone to say hi to her every day. She's looking for friends. So I know exactly what you are looking for as well. And I, that's why I commend Themina on, on, doing, on doing what she does. And this issue of Alzheimer's is very close to home for me. My own uh, father-in-law, he had Alzheimer's. My husband is sitting right here. Um, he was the one who took care of him. And uh, I have, with my own eyes, seen what it does to a family and how hard it is. Um, I have seen how my mother-in-law, um, it was so tough for her. So all of you brave people who have this and are dealing with this, I commend you for your courage um, and for being the brave heroes that you are. So I want everybody to clap for such people. Uh, and thank you again, Tamina. I, I think I took too much of your time, but I had so much to say. I'm very thankful to be here. And, and uh, thank you for coming out and supporting Tamina, because without you, Park Pioneers Club would not be able to go on. So thank you. Thank you. So it's not the Mina working for, for you all guys, you got, all guys are working for, for us. Thank you very much for being here. And I would also like to acknowledge Mr. Mashkur. He's a, a very active member of, member of our organization, always supportive. 
and uh, I would also like to request our senior Pioneer Club board members, Naseema Siddiqui, uh, Shabir Rajput, uh, Shabir Hussain Saab and Bashir Rajput Saab. I always get uh, like them mixed up. And uh, uh, Azam Khan Sahab, thank you very much for being there. And as Dr. Shah said in his um, speech, that there's only one spinal cord or the uh, for backbone, yeah, backbone, spinal cord, like, you know, all those medical terms. So only one backbone and a neck, and there's always a head. Like, how would you see somebody with a backbone and a neck and no head? So the head is there as Dr. Masoom Shah. He's always there. Thank you very much for being, for heading us and for advising us and for guiding us all the time. Thank you very much. And uh, um, the uh, the media partners, uh, Iyawaz, especially, thank you very much, especially uh, Z9 Digital uh, TV, Z9 Media. Thank you very much, Mr. Alisha, Mr. Najum, and uh, um, Arfa Muzaffar, and Mr. Wajid, Wajid Shah, sorry, I, I, Wajid Malik. You know, Wajid Ali Shah was the uh, one of the uh, emperors, so that's why it's still good. You are ruling the community with your community work, so thank you very much for being here, for encouraging us. Thank you very much. And uh, Dr. Mumtaz Hassan, of course, hai hai. Dr. Abrar, thank you very much for, for being here. And I, I know Dr. Mumtaz Hassan is here because you because of you. Naveed said that he talked with you, and uh, then we have him here. Thank you very much. And uh, everybody, sorry. of course, Dr. Rashta ke baghair to baat nahi hoti. So Dr. Rashta, thank you once again. And we'll be seeing more of you, especially we are planning to do another uh, round of uh, workshops on nutrition. Uh, and healthy eating and you know the vitamins and label reading of uh, all the food items so we'll be um, uh, calling Dr. Rashta again to the club and you all can join us there and uh, now uh, I would request the uh, yeah a special request uh, to thank Naveed Chaudhary also thank you Naveed <laughs> The neck, the neck is, you know, it, it comes at the top of the, the backbone. So yeah, thank you very much, backbone. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, please, yeah, you know, all smiles. Please bring those smiles home too. <laughs> thank you. So uh, as, as Peter rightly said, like, uh, you know, a good partner, a happy partner keeps you healthy. So try to keep your partners happy so you can stay healthy, right? So inshallah, we'll be seeing everybody again. And now I would request um, the, the guests who have joined us, like uh, this table and uh, the Sahara Senior Services, uh, you and the uh, Senior Tamil Society and IPC um, to please uh, join for the lunch. And Naveed has usually tried to say something about ladies first, but Arshad Sahab, ladies first nahi hongi aaj. So our uh, guests first, okay, thank you. So yeah, the Senior Tamil Society, please, and Sahara Senior Services, and our honored guests, please, if you could just uh, join for the, for the lunch table.